Pro One Fuel Technology. This one is exciting. And I'll tell you the reason why. This is the function that everyone wants to save the dollars on, but you get a lot of bang per buck. Here's how this one works. First of all, we call this, or the industry wants to see it, as an advanced fuel conditioning technology. Even the manufacturers, this is CAT, Cummins in Detroit, and other diesel manufacturer, engine manufacturers, they know that the fuels out there need some help. And that's where this product comes in. So, what our technology uh, of conditioning the, the fuel, first of all, we are super concentrated. It's a catalyst. Um, it's a conditioner that liberates fuels uh, and chemical energy and addresses everyday fuel problems. This allows more oxygen and helps create better performance and we significantly reduce fuel consumption and dramatically lower engine our emissions. So the benefits you're going to get is of course you're going to get improvement in the fuel economy and it, it, it's going to eliminate a lot of the visual uh, opacity. That's the black smoke that comes from diesel engines. The ash formation is going to be reduced and we do add lubricity to diesel fuels which they need it. I'm going to cover that as we get going. So we're going to help uh, slow down the buildup of carbon. We're going to improve the engine's performance. We're going to raise the BTU. We're going to clean the system and injectors. And this is the neat part about this product. There is no uh, Y-valving, mixing, shaking. This treats 10,000 gallons in six seconds. It treats it faster than you can pour it in. So this is a, an easy uh, remedy to be able to use the product. Well, how it works? It's real simple. We're actually going to take big molecules and turn them into little ones. And here's how it's happening. The fuel's chemical energy is stored in the hydrocarbon. In this state, the hydrocarbons do not burn completely, resulting in carbon soot and harmful emissions because they're big. They don't burn all of it. Okay? So with the fuel maximizer, which is a catalyst, it breaks apart large particulates over here and accelerating the chemical reaction of the fuel, thus liberating its chemical energy. So here's what's happening. These here, some of them aren't burnt completely. So in the system, they, they re-enter the fuel the second time, and this is called through an EGR valve, exhaust gas return system. And uh, now they're trying, that's how mechanically they're trying to solve this re-burn because it never gets burnt the first time efficiently through. The fuel maximizer is ahead of time breaking this down, surrounding all these little molecules with air. The 19 gases that we breathe on a daily basis. And now you get more energy and oxygen to the fuel and you get less emissions and better performance. So let's take a look at what that actually is. We're looking to optimize atomization or vaporizing the fuel, making them smaller. So the atomization which allows the flame to propagate more efficiently accelerating combustion and it burns the atomized particles resulting in more power and better performance. Well you wanted that anyway. But the other side of it is, is that you're going to have less unburned hydrocarbons, or what we call HCs, and then less carbon monoxide, which is a gas that we call those COs. Less nitrogen oxides, that's the NOx. Now that's the one where you're, uh, they put on all diesel engines since 2010. They call them SCR, Selective Catalyst Reduction System. Well, if you don't know what that is, you're going to know what the byproduct is, because you have to put what they call DEF, D-E-F, diesel emission fuels. And all that system, a very expensive system, is put on all diesel engines since 2010, and that is to lower NOx. That is a carcinogen gas that gets in the air, in the EPA and CARB and AQMD and a whole bunch of uh, evaluating federal agencies and so on have figured out we better lower this one. It's going to be better for all of us. And they've done a good job doing that. Now, what our product does, 
is that we lower NOx while it's still in the combustion chamber. What the industry is elected to do is lower NOx by an expensive system. So if we lower it here, you have less DEF that you have to burn in the system. We're going to cover more of that in just a little bit. So yes, we're going to lower emissions per unit of fuel burn and dramatically reduce the ash and the unburned uh, carbon. 